This is Melissa Arm with the Stock Swish, and I'm looking at the QQQ. So we had a huge breakout in the market today for various reasons. Going into the rate hike tomorrow, people are going long, assuming that they're going to back off raising rates. Whether say that they're going to and raise rates tomorrow, but then say they're going to back off or lower rates even. Uh, I don't think any of that happens. I don't think they lower rates. I don't think they don't raise rates tomorrow. That's not my opinion whatsoever at all. But for now, the market is looking very optimistically, just the most optimism I've seen ever in the market since the beginning of 2023 that we will continue higher. And it looks like that's where we're headed tomorrow into Wednesday morning, unless something happens overnight. Now, the meeting is until two o'clock, so we won't know the reaction. The reaction will take effect in a gap that happens Thursday morning but we will react tomorrow. Could, could We could have no reaction. What do I mean? And we could go up, we could go down, we could fake higher, we could fake lower. We could do nothing, nothing at all. I wouldn't be surprised if we did. Why? We've been trading in a range since, we want to go back to October, really November, a very, very, very tight range that's widened slightly, but still really tight in my opinion since last year. So since the Fed has really aggressively been raising rates, we've, we've been trading in a range. People are reading what the Fed is saying and reading things that's not what he's saying he's saying they're going to keep raising rates he's saying they're going to curb inflation by raising rates that's all that he's been saying but the market keeps looking especially in january when we have the rally in january to start out 2020 the market keeps looking at this like he's eventually going to back off this is it they raise them all they're going to i don't know why anyone thinks that or anyone's saying that but it's going to be one of the most important meetings the fed has ever had tomorrow due to the fact that's happening after the failure of a bunch of banks in the last two weeks very stress very stressful um, time for the, uh, a lot of people in the finance world who are looking for some kind of confidence and confirmation from the Fed and um, the Treasury Secretary about what are they going to do if, people, if another bank goes under. And th I don't think that the market has confidence in the people in charge. That's my two cents. The market fell today when Yellen was talking, actually. So I don't know. I don't know what we do tomorrow. And we'll wait and see. I have my opinions. I have my thoughts. We'll, we'll see if I'm right tomorrow. Well, I'll be watching at 2 o'clock. Yes, I have a webinar at 2.30, so the timing's kind of interesting because I'm only going to get to watch for a half an hour, but I think the reaction will be quick, pretty quick. Let's look at this five. <laughs> so the banks have taken a tumbling too. So th this doesn't look like the cues, but still a rally today either way. Good luck. If you're interested in learning how to trade gaps, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. I teach a class once a month. March class is this weekend, the 25th to 26th, and the next class isn't for more than a month till the end of April, so don't miss out. Do not miss out if you want to learn, join, start trading in the room. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great day.